Let's talk about the benefits of dynamic pricing for e-commerce for a second. Basically, there are three key benefits for using it on your site. You can increase your profit margins because during peak demand times, dynamic pricing allows you to capitalize on increased customer willingness to pay. Second benefit is that you can reduce lost sales during the low demand times. And the third benefit is that you can optimize your pricing for different customer segments. And that's the reason why in this video I'm going to show you a nice plugin you can use to create all sorts of dynamic pricing campaigns on your site. You can create product-based campaigns, cart-based, bulk rules, bundle rules, and you can even create buy one, get one rules. The plugin I'm going to use in this video is called Disco, dynamic discount plugin for WooCommerce. It's a brand new plugin, but it already has 300 plus active installations. I'm going to put the link to it in the video description so you can take a look at it. It has a free version, the one you see on the screen right now, and it also has a pro version, this one here. In this video, I'm going to show you the pro version, but even the free version is really powerful to get you going. Okay, now when this is out of the way, let's take a look what happens here on the dashboard. First, you'll see the disco menu on the left. There's a campaign setup design blocks and summary, although those two are deactivated at the moment. I've been told that in the coming months, they will add also those features here. Creating a campaign with this is really easy. Just add your title, for example, 15% off for Neon Chorus album, whatever it is. I'm going to use my demo site to show you how the pricing rules work. So I'm going to add the title select the product campaign type and now I can select whether this rule applies to all products or specific products. I'm going to use a specific product for example this one here. Let's search for a product neon chorus this one here. I can also select another product if needed for example nectar beats. Let's search for this one here. Great. Total of two products have been selected. Next, user limit, whether it's unlimited or set the number of users. I can add the campaign time, for example, from today until next Thursday. Discount type, whether it's a percentage or fixed discount, I'm going to add 15% discount. And if needed, I can also add all sorts of conditions here. You can choose product or cart item ID, SKU, title, description, short description, even attributes, categories, tags, WooCommerce brands, availability, weight, height, and basically every piece of data WooCommerce has in their products. You can also set conditions by currency, regular price, price with tax. You can set uh, rules for attributes as conditions, tax and shipping, product purchase history, customer, whether it's uh, logged in, user by specific user role, for example, it applies only for administrators. Also by country, state, zip code. What is also nice is that you can add conditions based on the purchase history, whether it's the first order, last order, last order amount, and so on and so forth. This one here is a simple discount rule, so I'm not going to add any other conditions. Instead, I'm going to save and exit. Let's refresh the page and you'll see there it is 20% off for both of these products. When I deactivate it and refresh it, you'll see regular prices displayed. Now, when you go to the disco menu, you'll see there is a settings up here. When I open it up and take a look at it, I'll see that there is a product price type, whether the campaign is calculated from the sale price or a regular price. If I select the regular price, save it and go back here, let's activate the rule. But let's modify this product for a second. I'm going to add a discounted price here, for example, 12 euros. I'm going to update it, view the product. And now, as you see, there is also a discounted price I added. Therefore, this rule doesn't apply if under the settings, I have set the regular price as a product price type. If I want to add additional discount to this price here, I'm going to select the sale price 
save it, refresh it, and you'll see additional discount has been added. Now what else happens here? Minimum, maximum discount amount, whether it's minimum or maximum. If you're using coupons on your site, then you can choose whether the campaigns and coupons should work together, whether to use only WooCommerce coupons or use only Disco campaigns. I'm going to allow coupons and campaigns to work together, so I'm going to leave it as it is. Next one, our on sale badge, whether to show it or don't, and strike out price, where would you like to display it? On shop page, product page, category page, or cart page? Let's test it. I'm going to disable everything, save it, refresh it, and now you'll see it doesn't display that it's a discounted price. When I go to the category page, you'll see it also doesn't work here. But if I activate everything here, save it, refresh it, you'll see the strikeout price above and discounted price below. And these are the settings here. Nothing else you configure under the settings. Therefore, let's go to the rules page again. And I'm going to deactivate this rule. I'm going to create another one. This time it let's add 20% off for all music category. And as you see, basically everything looks the same as before. I'm going to add a percentage discount, 20% off. Let's add a label summer discount and let's add conditions. So select filter. I'm going to select category in list is music. Now let's update and exit. You'll see the rule is active. Now I'm going to go to the music category page. I'm going to refresh it and you'll see that the actual discounted prices are not displayed. And it's because we created a cart based campaign. What does it mean is that if we are going to add this product to the cart, let's go to the cart page. You'll see this is a regular price, but summer discount 20% has been added. Now there is another way to do that. That is, I'm going to disable this rule. I'm going to open up my previous rule. Let's change it for 20% off for all music. Now I'm going to select all products. 20% off, add condition, that is, categories in list, is music, select it, now let's enable it, update it, refresh it, and now you'll see all the product display discounted price. So, this is the way to go. Now, I'm gonna deactivate this rule, and I'm gonna show you another rule, this time it's shipping based rule. Let's add a title, for example, Free shipping for 100 plus cards, subtotal. Once again, I can select whether this rule applies to all products or specific products. There is no discount added here because this rule only gives you a free shipping. So let's add a condition, select filter, and this time it's uh, card subtotal equals, that is greater than or equal 100. Let's save it. And as you see, I'm on my card page. Card subtotal is 70 euros. Currently it offers only a courier as a shipping method. Now I'm going to change the quantity for this product. Now the subtotal is 120 euros and free shipping has been offered. So this way you can offer free shipping for different products or product categories based on all the conditions here. Okay, three is done, three to go. So let's create another discount. This time it's bulk roll. Add a title, 10% bulk roll. I'm going to add it to all products. So minimum quantity. If it's 3 to 5, then the percentage discount is 5. If the quantity is from 6 to 10, then it's 7% discount. And when it's 11 or more, then the discount value is 10%. Let's save it. And let's see whether it works. I'm going to add three products to the cart. And as you see, the discount is 5% from this amount here. Let's change the quantity to seven now. And you'll see now the percentage is bigger. When it's 11 products in a cart, then you'll see 10% out of this amount is 10 euros. Works like a charm. 
this way you can create bulk rules. Now let's deactivate this one here and create another one. This time it's a bundle rule. So what does it do? Let's add an item quantity. Three items gives you 20%. There is also a recursive option. I'm going to show you what does it mean in a minute. Oh, I forgot to add the title. So 10% off for bundles. Okay, let's update it. I'm going to go to the card page. I'm going to refresh it. Currently I have two products in a cart. You'll see no discount has been applied. When I add the third one, now it's there. For four products, the discount is the same. For the fifth product, uh, it's the same. Let's add 10 products. The discount is always the same. That is 10% out of the price, which is the price for three products. But now when I activate the recursive here and update it, let's see what happens. So let's refresh three products. 10% out of this amount is 2 euros 81. Now let's add five products. The discount stays the same, but if I add the sixth product, now you'll see it's 10% out of this amount here. So for every three products, you'll get 10% discount. Let's test with another one here. I'm going to add this product to the cart. No discount has been added. Let's add quantity of three and you'll see 10% of this one here. Let's test with six. It's, now the discount is bigger. Let's test with nine and it's even bigger. But if I change it to eight, then it's 10% out of the amount from six products. So this is a bundle rule and you can use it with recursive or no recursive sub rule. Nice. Now I'm going to disable this one here and I'm going to create the last one that is buy one get one. I'm going to add a title and let's choose. If you purchase at least three products, you'll get either percentage discount, fixed discount, fixed discount per cart item or free items. And I'm going to select free items. So you'll get one free item. Now, if you want, you can add conditions here, but I'm not going to do that. Instead, I'm going to select specific products and I'm going to search for a product Horizon Real. This one here. So the rule is if you buy at least three products, you'll get one extra product for free. Let's test whether it works. Save, refresh. Add to cart, go to the cart page. I'm going to delete this one here. Now, as you see, nothing happens here. Let's change the quantity. Nothing happens. Let's change the quantity one more time. And you'll see one free product has been added to the cart. But you don't have to use this rule. You can also offer any other products to be added for free. For example, Bogo type. Let's choose instead by X get X. We're going to add buy one product and get another product for free. So the quantity is the same. Once again, we're going to leave the main product also the same, but I'm going to search for this product here, Chroma Beat. For example, let's add this one here. And you'll get two products for free if you purchase at least three Horizon Real standalone family movies. Let's update it. Let's go to the cart. Let's change the quantities to two. Nothing happens here. Let's change it to three. And you'll see two free products have been added to the cart. Easy peasy. And yeah, this was a short overview of the dynamic pricing plugin called Disco. It has a free version and it has a pro version. I'm going to put the link to both in the video description. Sometimes it's hard to discover awesome free plugins. Therefore, I have made a separate video about four free WordPress plugins you wish you knew before. This video is on the screen right now, so be sure to take a look at it next. In the meantime, take care.